In this video, I'd like to show you uh, how to calculate the an expression for the irradiance. Okay, so we know the irradiance is the, we'll say the power output of an electromagnetic field. So I'm going to define the following. I'm going to define the electric field as equal to its initial amplitude E0 times the cosine of Kx minus omega t. Similarly, I'm going to define my magnetic field as equal to B0 times the cosine of Kx minus omega t. Now, you would have to know yourself through, I suppose, a small bit of study that the pointing vector, which I'm going to call S, is equal to uh, E cross B. And the pointing vector is also equal to 1 over mu 0 E cross B. Like so. Alright? Um, well, no, it's not also equal to, so it's equal to a constant times that, 1 over mu 0 E cross B. Alright? That's the pointing vector. So the next thing we need to do is define the fact that the irradiance is equal to the average of the pointing vector. That's just that's just the definition. The irradiance is the average of the pointing vector. So what we need to do now is calculate the irradiance. So the average of the pointing vector is going to be equal to the irradiance, and that's going to be equal to E cross B. Okay, so it's going to be equal to C squared epsilon 0 times E cross B. And we need to multiply that by cos squared kx minus omega t. Alright, next we need to do a small bit of manipulation here. And we'll find that i is equal to c squared epsilon 0 times the electric field times the electric field over c because we know that the, the uh, electric and magnetic fields are related by a factor of c. And that's still going to be multiplied by cosine squared of kx minus omega t. Next, the irradiance is going to be equal to C times the epsilon 0 times the magnitude of the electric field squared times cos squared Kx minus omega t. Now the important thing to note here is that the average of cos squared is equal to a half. If you want to know why that is, ask a mathematician. And you'll find as a result of that that the irradiance is equal to C times epsilon 0 times the average of the or the magnitude of the electric field squared over 2 and it's also equal to C times uh, I would say the magnitude of the magnetic field to be squared like that over 2 mu 0 okay so thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel